Yeah, the camp up on the hill? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, last time I was there, me and Malcolm slept on the ground next to uh, a long walk by. It's good times. I haven't been here in a year, but gotta love it. Got my first 4,000 footer. Yeah. Pumped. All right. Boiling up some delicious soup. It has chunks of pork belly. It has a lentil mix that I use. And it has teriyaki beef jerky. So yeah, man. Can't wait to eat that. Lots of fat. I put shortening in there, which I've flavored with garlic powder and onion powder for extra fat content. I'm sure you can see all the fat floating around it's from the shortening, and obviously it's from the pork belly. Very cool. This little contraption is a champ. It is a champ. It doesn't get cooler than that. When you're hiking, yeah, dude, that's it right there. That's the stuff. Friday had a cup of chai tea. This is my hot chocolate. I'm rocking it, man. I'm loving it. Loving it. Hanging out here with Will. There he is. Fire's dying down. It's starting to rain just a little bit. So we're going to hang out here a little bit more until the food's done. Good times. We're in camp. We're here. Black Pond. Bushwhack on an old forgotten trail. <laughs> in the dark. By headlamp. Lost the trail. Went solely on compass and trying to stay on contour lines that were in our minds. Looking at a map, trying to figure out where we were and just got it done. Malcolm got it done. He was the lead navigator. Very cool. We are here. And we have a little short three and a half mile hike tomorrow morning to get back to the car. You gotta love that. Instead of like eight miles that we had before. And no streams to cross. We, we cut off every single river crossing because we took that shortcut through the woods. We're madmen. We did it at night. We're crazy. We should not have done it. But we did it. We got it done. The crazy trail was found. Wow. Madness. The crazy woods. Oh, yeah. In my tent. Finishing my soup. It's bombastically delicious. And the rain has started. Big burst of wind just flew by. So I think the storm is going to start revving up. Oh, snap. We camped over here last night across the river. We had to cross the river, obviously, to get started. This morning. So here's Mount Owlhead. And this is what we climbed today. Climbed up to the false peak. And then to the real peak. It's over 4,000 feet. It's a real mountain, man. Intense. We followed the trail down. Till we got to the first river crossing, which is right here. Right at the bottom. And we came off into the woods. And we stayed on the contour line. We tried to stay so we didn't go any lower, we didn't go any higher. We just tried to stay on the contour line like that. That's the key. That's how you find the trail. So we went off and we did. Oh, I think this contour line right here. And once we got here, we started moving south. Now this isn't set up, this isn't orientated. To orientate this, I have to rotate it. This is what the area really looks like. This way's north at an angle. I know that because at the bottom, 
this magnetic north. Very important. So we were walking and we went in the contour for a little while. After we did that for a little while, we decided to go straight south. So that would be straight down, which is what we did. We went straight south. We ended up right on the other side of Black Pond. There's a marsh area. We found that. Then we went around it to the side and we followed the pond. Right now we're camped right on the other side of the pond, right over here. Amazing stuff. So, we put a lot of miles in the last two days. It took eight miles to get up there. So, eight, nine, ten. That's eleven. Twelve is a half, I'll add it later. Thirteen is a half. Plus that half is fourteen. So, 14 miles so far on this trip. It's pretty epic. It's good stuff right there. 14 miles, and we conquered Owlhead. It's going to rain really hard tonight. And tomorrow, we're going to hike <clears throat> from Black Pond. All the way down to the parking lot. It's only like three and a half miles. That's not a big deal. But it's probably going to be in pouring rain. So that will make it a little more interesting. Oh, so one more thing. So by taking the shortcut through the forest, we cut off a ton. We cut off walking here and then walking down to here about here so we still have to walk that so that's about the same distance here to here so we'll say to about here so that's a mile a mile a half and a half and it's probably about three miles so we probably cut out three miles in about five or six river crossings by going through the forest. That's a huge savings. Three miles and like five river crossings. That's amazing. Very cool. All right, it's time to crash. See you in the morning. All right, so it's pouring rain and everything I own failed, basically. I woke up in a puddle inside my tent. My tent failed, the water came up through my tent my Gore-Tex bivy failed on my sleeping bag. I was laying in my sleeping bag and I woke up because I was wet in my bag. Which means it already soaked through my North Face insulative layer. Like my, kind of like a sweater that I was wearing. It's, uh, it's like Primaloft or something. So, yeah, okay, great. So, <laughs> water went through everything I own. Really? That's where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, I'm. I got my rain shell on. I'm inside my tent for a second. I just crawled back in because I'm just stuffing everything inside my rucksack. I'm just gonna stuff my tent in there, my tarp, and wait. We, we're just gonna get out of here. We have like three and a half miles. We're gonna get it done. That's all there is to it. So I'm not going to be able to film anymore from this point on because my camera's going to get ruined because it's pouring out right now. Um, I do have that little like Bunsen burner cooker, which is great. I might actually make a chai tea while I'm packing up. Drink some hot liquids before I go. That's the beauty of that thing. It's a great piece of kit. Pouring down rain and instead of building a fire and going through all that, I can just hit it with my fell rod. Propane's burning. I can put my cup on there while I'm packing up. I'm making hot tea. Amazing. Instant. Anyways, I'm getting out of here. Well, I lucked out. But the water decided to fill up right underneath where I was sleeping. That's my bed right there. That's where I was laying down. Really? Okay, so that's why I woke up wet inside my sleeping bag. Yeah, roger that. 
good times. My little Bunsen burner. Cooked up some chai tea so I can get some hot liquids in me because my core is wet, my t-shirt's wet underneath all my rain gear against my skin. Not good. But I'll have some hot liquid. There's the boys. Rocking it out. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. Later. Alrighty campers, that's it. We mocked it out. It was 18 miles. We absolutely crushed the three and a half mile hike on the way out. And uh, it's pouring rain. I couldn't do any filming because it was crazy. The path was pretty much one big water holding stream. Um, yeah, awesome trip. Awesome crew. Awesome time. Awesome mountain peak. Oh snap. That's Mitch from the Survival School. Sure to check out my website, insolvent.com. See you in the next one. Take care.